Welcome to episode 10 of my building the Black Pearl. Been working on planking and some other things. So without too much further ado, let's get into how the build is going. I use a variety of different things to hold the planks in place as I'm uh, getting them to stay in place and while the glue dries. Anything from push pins and I tap these in along the edge. But probably my favorite is just these clips and you have to sacrifice one clip to make one. Well, actually you can make two out of one. So what you do is you remove clips from one. These are just kind of spring loaded. That's one. So again you sacrifice one to make two. And now you have it, you can use it this way or this way. My preferred is like that and then you just pinch it on the uh, framing. I also have a heated uh, plank bender and a lot, sometimes I will soak the wood but with this lighter wood it bends pretty easy without even getting it wet. So just the heat has done very well in getting the proper bend that I want. Sometimes the black walnut's a little harder to get to bend, so you can uh, put that in some hot water or steam it in a rag. I've done both. I had a suggestion of using a thermos with hot water in it. That way the, the water would stay hot. That was a good idea. I just don't have a thermos. So it's going well, and uh, I'm getting to the straight and narrow here. It gets a little tricky sometimes, but... I'm making progress. I'm still in the middle of planking, but I'm also preparing some other things. So as soon as I finish the planking, I can put things into place. And these turned out pretty well. Uh, I could have done a little better on the hinge right there. I did put a little round uh, door pull on the doors, and they are operational. So I'll probably have them part way open. One thing I will mention, and the reason I'm uh, discussing this, where this hinge comes through on the back, and I don't think you'll really be able to see, but let me get some a pointer here. Right about here, I notched out on the wall part for those hinges to fit. Otherwise, these doors are so tight, you would not be able to shut them. So I just took a file and filed a little notch out, just like you would a, a regular door. The only thing I have left that needs done is these nails, obviously. Uh, the hinge pins are too long, so I'm just going to snap those off. I'm going to leave a little bit of extra because I'm afraid that it will all fall apart if I, if I don't. I will say I used super glue here and see that just popped loose. On this side, although it smeared a little bit, I used the Gorilla Glue and that actually works better for something like this when you're gluing metal to wood. So that's something to keep in mind that this uh, clear glue, Gorilla Glue seems to work better. So I'm going to redo that hinge, then I'll finish all these and you'll see them when they're on the ship. I've perfected my push pin planking tool and what I've done is I'm leaving the pin the full length but I'm filing this down on one edge completely flat using these pliers and this is a diamond sanding disc. And I just do it on one side so it's flat then when I push it in I put the flat edge towards the plank so when it gets up here to the end, it, it just a micro uh, measurement push closer to the plank that's already on the ship. So when it's done, and maybe you can see that that's, that's got one flat edge there on the top. And that's working out pretty well. I've just about completed the first layer of planking on the hull. I thought I would show you how I 
come up with these measurements because I'm not an engineer so I don't pre-plan it in any way. As an example, and I will mention, I'm going to end up with just exactly the right amount of planks with not much left over whatsoever. I'll come to this area and this plank is actually working this direction because I alternated. And what I'll do is I'll put this in here, take it up to where I want it to end. So I'm going to mark here where there's a, a frame member so I can have support on the end. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to put it in place there and at the very edge as far as the point is going to go. Kind of get that in on this bottom edge and then as soon as these cross over I'm going to put a little mark right there and then I'm going to draw a line from this point down to the very tip right there. And although not exact, that gives me a guide as to how much material I want to take off. And this little belt sander has turned out to be one of the best investments I ever made. And here's the part that you normally would sand on, but I use this top to do these angles. And I take whatever tool I have handy, this is a little file, and I'll use that to kind of put pressure on it to get that sanding angle, angle down where I want it. Let me turn it around the right way. So hopefully you can see my line. Now I'll test fit it. Need to take off some more. I'll do that off camera. Okay, now I have it the shape that I want. It has a little curvature here. So this is where I use my uh, bender. It has a very slight curvature. You can see I just did a little slight curve. And now I will slide this into place. Now that I know that's where it goes, I'll put glue in there, wood glue, and get it all set. I just wanted to show you how I did that, uh, the angle cuts. I have the wood glue in place. This is the last plank. I'm going to put the most fragile in, in next. I don't know if you can see the back of the ship. But I've already started, so I'll have to live with it. And then I'm going to bow this up a little bit. Tuck that in there and then force it each direction. Wipe off the excess glue. And you know what? I think I'm just going to let it sit there and dry on its own. It's, it's down nice and snug. I've got the first layer of planking done, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to sand this all pretty much smooth, and then I will take um, wood putty and fill in any cracks. So once I get it, you know, as smooth as I can get it, then I'll fill those things in and then sand again. Then I'll stain it. And the only reason I stain it is in case there's a little crack on the outer planking it'll be the, the correct color. I could also do it black and it would look more like sealer. A couple things I want to talk about that were a challenge to me and I'm still not sure how I would have dealt with it. It's this area right here and I wish I would have spent more time filing down some of the you know the, the uh, bones of the ship I call them to make that smaller. You can see I added additional planks here. There's actually one underneath this one. And I did that so that when I sand it, I'll still have something to rest the new uh, and final uh, walnut plank on top of it. I did a little bit on both sides, but I am going to file that down. Other than that, it went 
pretty well. This is all I have left of the first layer of planking. And I did end up using one of the smaller ones. And I think those are so when you do get to the end, it's pre-shaped so it can fit in a small space. Here's a close-up of that area that I'm talking about that I added additional pieces of wood off to the side. I kind of did on both sides. You can see there's one hanging out there that's underneath that. So I will sand all this down and get this at, a, at an angle. All in all, this is probably the best planking I've done on any ship. And I attribute that to a little more experience than I've had in the past. I have more work to do. Uh, I've got to trim all this off in the back. And what I did back here is the underneath side I tapered so it would bend easier. And then now I will just trim all these off. And then I can start working on this back part. Uh, let me show you what I uh, set the, the, the ship on when I do work like this. I took some styrofoam and put a little thicker piece on the bottom. And this is just high enough that when it's setting here, everything is resting on this. Nothing on this framing is taking any of the, uh, the weight from the, the bench. So it's all just right there on the deck. I have several issues I'm going to discuss and they may not be in the right order but just some things I want to clarify because there's things I need to do before I finish planking and close this all up with those curved pieces. The best I've been able to figure out, or in my own mind, is I know I have to get all the wiring done for lighting. And I decided I'm putting uh, lanterns at various places uh, inside where all the windows are. I like that idea. Then I'll also have lanterns hanging down at various places within this section of the ship. So that's what these are for. I've wired up some more lanterns and just did them in reverse order so that the light comes up from the bottom. So it looks like the lanterns are just sitting there. Some of these wires are designated to go up to the lanterns that will go across the back of the ship. And for these, I'm going to switch out and use the flickering lights that I have because the torch fixture itself is metal and the lights I'm using have the metal uh, connectors if it touches the side it would short out. So what I was able to do is cover one of them, the positive lead, which is the longer of the wires if you're familiar with these. I was able to cover it with one of those shrink wrap uh, wire insulators and I could insert it down. Now I did have to drill the hole out a little bit larger to get that lamp and those wires to fit through there but it is going to work out just fine. So that was one of the topics I wanted to mention. The other, and I've already glued this on, it's a shame, but there's a piece that goes underneath and it, it kind of gives you the location where the statues are positioned. It is extremely fragile, extremely fragile. So this is the little um, multi-angled and direction piece that I'm talking about. You can see it here also and it glues to the back of this. What I did is I glued it to this this back piece before these were on, before the side pieces were on. Then I moved the side pieces in because this is so flexible I just couldn't get all this to line up at once so I secured this one first. Worked pretty well. I was off just a little bit. I must have had it angled so I ended up clipping this corner taking just oh just a fraction of an inch off of that piece to get these all to line up on just one side. The other side lined up fine. And if it does break, you know, you, they glue into place so it'll be fine. It'll hold good solid. But that was quite, uh, quite interesting getting that cut out without breaking it to start with also. Another area that's been a challenge for me is the piece that goes back here. And I ended up deciding to attach these even because this is real thin and I'm hoping this will be flexible. There is a thicker piece that supports this. It is not marked on the placard. It's placard J, but it's pretty 
obvious what the piece is because it matches exactly. If you're interested, it is part number 23. I marked it. Special note, on this same placard J, there's this piece, and I believe it will go up here on the front of this. And on the sheet, it's marked 20. That's an error. It's actually part number 22. This part 23 is going to support this. I don't know if it goes on the inside or outside yet. But I'm hoping when I get that on there, it'll straighten it out. That's going to give that good strength. Then the next trick is the windows that go across here. This piece was fairly thick, and it was perfectly straight. So you are going to have to bend it. And I did put in a cup of water for maybe four minutes, and then used my uh, plank bender. And I've almost got it to the point where it needs to be. So that's going to need to be arched. So I have a little more bending to do on it. I wanted to mention those things because I have got to get all the lighting, wiring, holes drilled for it. But in addition, before I can attach all this, I think I want to finish the planking. What I've done with this wiring, this is my positive coming in. Then I've split it. I put one resistor. This will go to the three flickering lights. And then I've got another line coming out with another resistor. And the, this will go to all of the lanterns at the back of the ship. I've cleaned up my wiring somewhat. So these will be the positive leads going up to the flickering lamps on the back of the ship. I just glued the lanterns in place. These I will probably end up painting black because I'm going to have to bring them across into the corner and take them up. Uh, I probably could have put them under the, this area, but I didn't want to interfere with these. That's that real fragile uh, bracket that guides where the statues go, and I didn't want to interfere with the statues either. So that's set. I'll still need to bring the black wire up. What I'll do is I'll bring just one single black wire up to the top and then uh, tie them all into those top lanterns. And then the, the lanterns in the windows will connect back here. And you can see I have lightweight little pincher clips or clamps on those wires. And that's just to give a gentle tug on those lanterns to glue them into place. I considered planking all of this on the inside of the captain's quarters, but I forgot and glued the lanterns in place. I've almost got the wiring done so I can flip the ship back upside down. I can put these curved pieces back here, here, get that planked, get the underside of the ship sanded, mudded, sanded again, stained, and then planked with the black walnut. I'm in the process of test fitting this uh, uppermost deck and I did have to do some polishing or sanding some of the edges to get this to fit in just right on both sides but I did get it. This puzzle piece that comes out I had to sand the bottom off quite a bit but again it all worked out fine. This all gets covered with uh, walnut planking and obviously this will with a little pressure will go down into place and I think I've talked about these but they're all in place and lined up pretty well I do have the lanterns in the captain's quarters I had one malfunction I broke a wire to this one so I have a little solder joint there so this back piece I have ready to go you can see this curve piece. Again, this is dry fitted. It's not glued. And then the last of my wiring is up in there. This will all have to be planked. This, this, and the entire underside again with the walnut. I did have one setback when I was pounding and putting the planks on, the pins on my door released and one of the doors fell off. 
I think I'll be able to reach it. I may have to take the pins out and glue it in place. I think it's one that's up front. Or I'll just lay it down like it fell off. We'll see. Here's a couple more examples of me dry fitting things. These are the, the back windows. And again, I'll have to pinch all this together with clamps. But that's all fitting very nicely. Then there's a little channel burnt in, laser burnt, and that's where they recommend the wiring go. I will take one wire up there, but I'll probably make another channel on the two sides. I'm, I'm not completely decided on that yet. And these are all individual pieces, so they'll need to be glued in place also. This is a good place for me to stop on episode 10. And uh, I'll continue working, but I think this is a good place to take a break. Again, I appreciate everyone following along. And if you have any suggestions or ideas or comments, I'm all ears. As always, thanks for watching.